Ava DuVernay is a remarkably successful filmmaker and producer, and as Mark Whitaker discovered, she's paying it forward, breaking barriers and building careers. In its seven seasons, the TV series Queen Sugar has explored modern flashpoints. What did you do? From Me Too and race relations... Go back to where you came from! ...to police brutality. Get out of the car! But at heart, it's a drama about three black siblings struggling to hold on to their late father's Louisiana sugar farm. I thought it best to make you an offer in person. I've been trying to communicate a core idea. Mm -hmm. And the core idea is that family in American television should not only mean white families. Mm -hmm. Ava DuVernay is the creator and an executive producer of Queen Sugar. Sopranos, Little House on the Prairie, The Waltons, uh, 30-something, uh, Friday Night Lights. This is a family who plays football. This is a family who's in the mob. This is a family who owns a funeral home. Like, it goes on and on, but what are none of them black? We must stand up. Yeah. We must make a massive demonstration of our moral certainty. DuVernay has long fought to add diversity to Hollywood, directing socially conscious works like Selma, and when they see us. It's real. Let's make sure she's all right. Ow! Yes, she's fine. What's it? We don't kick people. With A Wrinkle in Time, DuVernay became the first black woman to direct a live action film with a budget of more than $100 million. When it came to Queen Sugar, she saw another opportunity to make a statement. The series airs on OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network. Ava called me up and said, you know, I have this idea that we should do all women directors. And I was, I was like, can we do that? Is, is that allowed? And I said, I don't, I don't know why we couldn't. And she says, you can do it. You can do it. It's your name on the network. If you say you want to do it, you can do it. And so I went, OK, let's do it. And you did it. And we did it. Studies show women direct just under one-fifth of broadcast television programs. Had a any of you directed television before? No. no. Nope. Chaz Bennett, Aurora Guerrero, and Domaine Davis had all made independent films, but couldn't seem to get that next break. I've had every job you could ever do. I've, I've bartended, I've worked in a fish cannery. When Ava gave me a call, I was uh, in a hard place. I was feeling a bit hopeless around my career and where it was going to go because I had never thought about television, to be honest with you. Uh, before Queen Sugar, uh, I was a freelance copywriter in advertising in Boston, and um, I was directing commercials. The three became among the 42 women who have directed episodes of Queen Sugar. I had never thought of directing for television because in my experience, you have to have experience to get that job, and you can't get the job without experience. Or, it's like a catch-22. Yes, yeah. exactly, total catch-22. And I feel like that's something that I learned from Ava and this experience on Queen Sugar is how much I was actually limiting myself in my dreaming, my vision for myself. It's what people around Ava DuVernay have taken to calling the Ava effect. So in your words, what is the Ava effect? The Ava effect is every woman director who was brought onto the series went on to do multiple series and was brought into the fold of an industry that they had felt uh, for many years like they were outsiders. It changed everything. It like brought me a whole career that I didn't have before. And you feel confident <laughs> that that will continue? That I'm you're, hopeful. You're, you're, you're <laughs> As for DuVernay, she's putting her money where her motivation is. When I had a big, a nice payday uh, from directing a film, I decided to take that money and put it down That payment. was a wrinkle in time. It might have been a wrinkle in time. <laughs> uh, but I decided about that to take that money right. and put it down on something that could really build a future for myself. She developed Array, a complex of workplaces in Los Angeles designed to increase diversity in the production and distribution of films. Does anything else quite like this exist in this town? 
Well, you know, here we incubate education. We have our database so that the overall industry can find uh, crew members of color and women crew mm. members. Mm. Um, we release films mm. by independent filmmakers of color and women mm. filmmakers. Uh, and so I don't, there are people that do bits and pieces of it all, but I don't know of any one place. It's one stop shopping for, for your world. You can buy a lot of things here. <laughs> The last episode of Queen Sugar airs this month. This is it. This is it. Last day, last moment. <laughs> it might be that its major legacy is throwing down a challenge. In 94 years of television, there's just been one show mm. that was all directed by women. So, yeah. you know, we got to make 94 more. So, That's right. get to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Bye. laughs>